ಜನತೆ ಮಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜಾನಾಂಜನಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮೇಲಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ನಿತಿನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷಾಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯದೇಶತಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತೆ ಗಿರಿಂ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ದೀನತಾರಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಹೌ ದ್ರುಪದ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಸೆಂಜರ್ ಟು ದ ಟು ಹಸ್ತಿನಾಪುರ ಟು ಕನ್ವೇ ದೇರ್ ಇಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕೌರವಾಸ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಇಂದ್ರಪ್ರಸ್ಥ ಟು ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಸಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಮೂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೌರವಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಾ ಹೌ ದಿ ಕೌರವಾಸ್ ವರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎನ್ ವಿ ಎಸ್ ಗ್ರೀಡಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನೋ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಟರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಶಕುನಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕನ್ವಲ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡನ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೆಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಗ್ನಿಟೋ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ದೇ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಇನ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮದೇವ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಲ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲಿ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಜಯ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಚಾರಿಯಟಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಟು ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂದ್ರಪ್ರಸ್ಥ ಸೊ ದುರ್ಯೋಧ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಾಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ವಾರ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಬ್ರೋಕರ್ ಪೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಸಂಜಯ ಕನ್ವೇ ಟು ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಹಿ ಟುಕ್ ದ ಥೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಟುಡೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೀನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಯೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಭಿಮನ್ಯು ದಿ ವೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಿಜೈಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಫೈನಲಿ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ದ್ರುಪದಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಹಸ್ತಿನಾಪುರ ಟು ಸೀಕ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ದ್ವಾರಕ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ದ್ವಾರ
innumerable number of times they had defeated shalva and uh, many such battles had been very easily won won by the narayani sena and all over the world everybody knew that the yadava army was practically invincible now it was duryodhana also knew that krishna always was favorable towards the pandavas so he thought let me quickly go to dwaraka and seek the support of the yadava army while to all other allies duryodhana had sent his uh, different uh, emissaries to seek the support of the different kings when it came to the yadava army because it was so important duryodhana personally went to dwaraka duryodhana came to dwaraka and uh, he informed the people there that he had come to meet lord krishna because he knew although ugrasena was the king of the yadavas still krishna's word was always considered final in the yadava assembly so he thought it is wise to meet krishna and if krishna if he seeks krishna's support and krishna agrees then there is Uh, then uh, all the yadava uh, rest of the entire yadava clan would uh, definitely support him so uh, with this intention duryodhana had come to dwaraka in the meantime what had happened is before duryodhana came to dwaraka satyaki one of the commander in chiefs of the yadava army he was a disciple of arjuna he had learned the art of archery from arjuna himself and he was always very much in favor of the pandavas because of their righteousness satyaki without waiting for an invitation from the pandavas took one akshauhani one division of army and went to virata the kingdom of virata and he uh, joined the pandavas now the rest of the yadava clan was still in dwaraka by the time duryodhana had reached dwaraka and uh, now duryodhana when duryodhana came and sought audience with krishna he was told that krishna was taking rest within his chambers and so the he was escorted duryodhana was escorted towards krishna's chambers because duryodhana the entire kaurava dynasty were closely related with the yadava dynasty because kunti devi was from the yadava dynasty and uh, therefore uh, she was the aunt of lord krishna and that way the relationship was quite thick between the uh, yadava household and the kaurava household so therefore uh, duryodhana had access to krishna's private chambers when duryodhana arrived it so happened that krishna was actually resting he was sleeping in his in a chambers and because he was a close family member he was escorted to krishna's bedroom as duryodhana was entering krishna's bedroom he saw there was one more visitor who had arrived at the same time it was none other than arjuna arjuna had also come seeking the support of krishna practically at the same time now duryodhana and arjuna saw each other they greeted each other and duryodhana entered first into krishna's chamber because he had come first and also he was the elder one arjuna was younger giving due respect according to his age arjuna followed duryodhana into the chamber as soon as duryodhana entered he saw krishna lying on the bedstead and uh, next to krishna near his head was a small uh, chair Duryodhana went and sat there at Krishna's head waiting for him to wake up. Arjuna in the meantime he also entered and he saw Krishna is sleeping and he went and stood very respectfully at the lotus feet of Krishna. Arjuna he is a great devotee of Lord Krishna and for him his heart is filled with love for Krishna. Yes he, he understands the great position of krishna as the supreme personality of godhead so he felt it appropriate to stand at the lotus feet of krishna and uh, both duryodhana and arjuna were silently waiting not wanting to disturb the sleep of krishna 
After a little while, Krishna slowly opened his eyes. And when Krishna opened his eyes, he saw Arjuna standing at his feet. And then slowly, Krishna raised himself up. And uh, he said, Oh Arjuna, you have come here. And then when Krishna got up and sat up on his bed, he saw Duryodhana is sitting next to him. And he said, Oh Duryodhana, you have also come. Then Krishna greeted both of them warmly. And uh, he asked them, Why have you both come at the same time to meet me? Then Duryodhana replied to Krishna and he said, Oh my dear Krishna, we both have come here seeking your support and the support of your Yadava army for any eventuality of any war that may take place between us. And you are related to the Kaurava dynasty, so you are equally related to me as well as to the Pandavas. Therefore, you should be equal to both of us. And since I have come here first, therefore, I have the right to first ask your support. Lord Krishna replied to Duryodhana, My dear Duryodhana, I agree what you have said is right. You came here first. But when I opened my eyes, the first person I saw was Arjuna. Not only that, Arjuna is younger to you by age. And according to the Vedic scriptures, according to Dharma, the younger person is always given the first opportunity. And so therefore, I give Arjuna the opportunity to seek my support. But at the same time, what you have said is right, Duryodhana, that I am related equally to both of you. This is a family uh, uh, quarrel. And so, I, uh, what I will do is, on one side, I present myself unarmed. I will not take up uh, arms in the battle. I will not fight in the battle. So, but I will be there giving good advice and support. Moral support and advice will be there from my side. On the other hand, my entire Narayani Sena, the Yadava Sainya, will be available. So, between the two of you, you can choose one of these two. And Arjuna, I give you the first uh, opportunity. Please choose whom you want. Arjuna, without batting an eyelid, without hesitation, immediately said, Krishna, doesn't matter that you don't lift arms, you don't do any activity, you just be by my side. That's enough for me. Krishna said, okay, as you wish. Then he turned to Duryodhana and he said, Arjuna has chosen me, so I am afraid that you have to be satisfied with the Narayani Sena. Duryodhana internally was delighted. He had thought that, oh, Arjuna has got the first right, he will choose the Narayani Sena and I will be left with Krishna, who is anyway not going to lift weapons. What is the point of having him then, anyway on our side? Duryodhana was elated that Arjuna had made the foolish decision. And he thought, good, Arjuna has somehow, some, uh, by some fluke, Arjuna has chosen wrongly. So Duryodhana, but externally, he, is a, he was a greatly diplomatic person. He uh, maintained a very uh, uh, calm uh, exterior and a neutral countenance he maintained and he said, I think I don't have a choice now. Arjuna has already chosen you, you have given him the first right. So I have to be satisfied with your Narayani Sena. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll be satisfied with that. Okay, thank you both of you, I'm leaving. And he said, he got up and he walked out. Now when Duryodhana walked out, Krishna looked at Arjuna and he said, Arjuna, I said, I will be, I will not take up arms. Then why did you choose me? You should have taken the army. The entire Yadava army was at your disposal. Arjuna immediately said, Oh Krishna, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Wherever you are there, Lakshmi Devi is also there. That means all opulence is also there, all victory is also there. I am not bothered about winning or losing this battle. I want you. You are the person whom I want. You are the goal of my life. So I don't want anything else. Everything else is secondary. If you are there with me, for me, everything else is achieved. So Krishna was overwhelmed by this love from Arjuna. And he told Arjuna, Arjuna, I am 
I am indebted to you for the love you have shown me. So please tell me how I can help you in this battle. Then Arjuna told Krishna that Krishna I have a great desire. I want you to be my charioteer in this battle. Krishna readily agreed. He said, "Is that all? Definitely, I'll be your charioteer." You can see Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. Krishna's lotus feet are worshipped even by Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. All the devatas are waiting for an opportunity to have darshan of the lotus feet of Krishna. Krishna is such an exalted personality. He is the supreme personality of Godhead. There is nobody equal to him. nobody above him such is the greatness of krishna he is bhoktaram yajna tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram all the universes all the planetary systems are emanating from krishna krishna is the supreme creator and therefore everything belongs to him and all the yajnas all the sacrifices all the vedas are meant for pleasing krishna and that krishna is agreeing to become the charioteer of arjuna his devotee these are the loving dealings between the lord between lord krishna the supreme personality of godhead and his devotees although krishna is the supreme person he is the master of everyone still krishna loves to become subordinate to the commands of his devotee just like how krishna subjugated himself to the love of yashoda mai and agreed to be bound by her to that martyr although he is, he cannot be bound by any material rope still he was bound by the love of yashoda mai similarly krishna was bound by the love of arjuna and he agreed to take orders from arjuna by becoming his charioteer in the meantime duryodhana had still not given up he his mind was constantly working he thought okay krishna has refused to partake in the battle but what about balarama he is the next most powerful personality while arjuna and krishna were discussing like this duryodhana had left krishna's room and he had gone to approach balarama the added advantage for duryodhana with balarama was Balarama had was his guru as far as the learning the art of fighting with the gada with the mace was concerned so duryodhana already had a good relationship with balarama and very quickly he approached balarama before arjuna could approach and uh, duryodhana approached balarama and he told him that like this i have come here seeking your support and i approached lord krishna also but krishna has agreed to become uh, he told that he would decide, he would uh, divide the narayani sena and himself one side he will be there without arms and the other side will be his army and arjuna chose krishna now i have come to you seeking your support now duryodhana did not know the actual position of balarama actually krishna is a supreme personality of god now it is stated in the vedas that anandamayo abhyasat by nature the supreme lord being a person he desires to enjoy and when he desires to enjoy what does he do just like in this material world whenever we want to enjoy what do we do we enter into relationships with other individuals we enjoy in relationship with our families and with our friends and relatives etc we do not enjoy if we are all alone if we have got something nice to eat then we want to call a few friends and we want to share it with them if we want to watch a movie we want to go with our family if we want to go on a vacation we want to take our wives and children along with us this is the nature of a person of an individual person this nature of human beings is actually a result of being of the individual being a part and parcel of the supreme lord because the supreme lord has a propensity to enjoy in relationship with others we being 
emanations we being part and parcel of that supreme lord we also have we also possess similar propensity to enjoy with other individuals now krishna when he desires to enjoy he expands himself he is not dependent upon individuals other than himself to enjoy he expands himself into other personalities he expands himself into first as balarama and that balarama further expands into the chaturvyuha expansion of vasudeva sankarshana pradyumna aniruddha and from that sankarshana again expands narayana from that narayana the second quadruple expansion of vasudeva sankarshana pradyumna aniruddha come out and from that second sankarshana come the vishnu avataras within this material world so like this the lord expands himself into innumerable uh, uh, forms of the vishnu tatva as well as his incarnations and the lord also expands himself into his devotees and then the lord expands himself into all the living entities that we are all uh, that we all are and so like this the lord expands himself into unlimited forms to engage in wonderful loving relationship with different individuals now balarama is the first expansion of krishna and he is imbued with love for krishna whenever when the lord descended as ramachandra the same balarama descended as lakshmana and in the past times of lord ramachandra lord ramachandra had to undergo so much difficulty and lakshmana being a younger brother many times he had great desire to partake to express his anguish whenever he saw lord ramachandra suffering but he could not express because he was a younger brother and he was inhibited by that subordinate position so when when the supreme lord krishna personally descended in this world balarama came as his elder brother so that he could express his anguish whenever krishna would feel any sort of distress and also balaram could play a protective role and prevent anybody from causing any harm or distress to krishna so balarama is very very possessive of krishna and he will not think of doing anything other than what krishna likes the moment when balarama heard that krishna has already given himself to the pandavas balarama told duryodhana i cannot even dream of opposing krishna in any manner and because this is a family quarrel i will not participate in this let krishna give support to the pandavas i am i am giving up my kshatriya dharma i am retiring from this kshatriya duties of fighting and engaging in battle and all these kind of things i am going on tirtha yatra balarama decided to go on pilgrimage and uh, so duryodhana thought okay anyway balarama did not come to my side but he is not going to fight on the side of the pandavas also so there is no loss then he said okay fine all right if you don't want to fight no problem and duryodhana went back to hastinapura and in this manner krishna became the charioteer of arjuna and now arjuna took krishna with him and went back to the kingdom of virata for further consultation and seeking krishna's advice on what they should do next after krishna and arjuna had reached the kingdom of virata they came to know that sanjaya has come there bringing the message of dhritarashtra the pandavas they all assembled and they called forth sanjaya sanjaya came there after receiving all the welcoming hospitality uh, sanjaya came forward into that assembly and dhritarashtra maharaj received him very warmly because the pandavas knew sanjaya for a long time and sanjaya had also been always very uh, favorable towards the pandavas although he was the secretary of dhritarashtra he knew that the pandavas were righteous and he was always favorable to them the sanjaya came before the pandavas and yudhishthira maharaj asked about the welfare of all the senior 
people in the Kaurava household like Bhishma Dev, Dronacharya, Dhritarashtra, Gandhari, etc. And uh, Sanjaya also, explain, uh, also told Yudhishthira and the Pandavas that they were all doing well and that he has brought a message from Dhritarashtra. Yudhishthira Maharaj said, please go ahead, please let us know what message you are bringing from Dhritarashtra. Then Sanjaya told Yudhishthira that Dhritarashtra, King Dhritarashtra wants peace. He does not want any kind of fighting, infighting. And he has said that he is ready to consider all options to, to avoid any kind of war or any kind of skirmish and let us peacefully settle the matter. And he has also said that there is no point in fighting, in fighting between the family members. If the family members kill each other, then what, what are we achieving? We are not achieving anything. It is not good for either party. So let us avoid fighting. This is the message. So Yudhishthira replied to Sanjaya, See, if you want peace, the solution is very simple. Return Indra Prasad to us. Matter will be settled. I assure you that we will forget all animosity. Whatever the Kauravas, they have insulted us. Whatever humiliation they have done towards us how they cheated us in the game of uh, dice. We will forget all that and we will live as friends. I assure you this. On the other hand, if you do not hand over Indra Prastha to us, then we are not sitting here idly. Arjuna is having the Gandiva in his hand and Bhima is having his Gada in his hand and you will have to reply to these two people and no force in this world can withstand the, uh, the force of these two weapons of my brothers. When Sanjaya heard this, he was surprised. He said, Yudhishthira, how is it that you are so much inclined to war? You should be, you should be thinking of how to, uh, how to get peace. A righteous person is never uh, inclined towards war and to quarrel and such things. He should always think of how to maintain peace and harmony in the society because Wars always bring untold suffering to humanity. Everyone knows this. So how is it that you are behaving like this adharmically? When, he, when Sanjaya said this, Yudhishthira said that you please first consider what is the duty of a Kshatriya? Duty of a Kshatriya is to fight or not in the, in the face of injustice. In the face of injustice, is a Kshatriya supposed to keep quiet? And what is happening with us here? Is it just or is it unjust? So, who, on whose side is dharma? You please consider this. And then Yudhishthira Maharaj turned to Krishna and he said, Lord Krishna, you decide whether what I am saying is right or wrong. You please tell us whether I am wrong in, in expressing that in case the kingdom is not given, there has to be war. Yeah, am I a warmongering person? Am I going against the principles of dharma? Then Sanjaya also looked towards Krishna because Sanjaya also knew that Krishna is the Supreme Lord. Krishna responded that Yudhishthira, whatever you have said is perfectly according to the codes of Dharma. You have always lived righteously and your demand for the return of your kingdom is also righteous. And Sanjaya, suddenly everybody could see Krishna's face become very grave and they could sense Krishna's rising anger. Krishna said, Sanjaya, how did the Kauravas get hold of Indra Prastha? Do you remember? They cheated Yudhishthira Maharaj in that game of dice. Although Yudhishthira Maharaj was saying in that assembly that he did not wish to play that game of dice, still he was goaded into, uh, into playing that game of dice. Although he was not so keen on playing that game of dice, Unfairly, Duryodhana made Shakuni his partner and he cheated Yudhishthira of, of his kingdom, of his brothers and his wife. And when Yudhishthira had lost his kingdom, at that point of time, what were you all doing? You were all sitting in the assembly keeping quiet. You did not stop what was going on, the game of uh, cheating dice. And then what happened? Draupadi was pulled into that assembly. And she was, she was attempted to be disrobed. When her honor was being violated, which person in that assembly stood up and spoke? 
except for Vikarna. Did Bhishma oppose it? Did Drona oppose it? You were also there. Did you oppose it? So, at that time, you did not think of Dharma. Now, what right do you have to speak of Dharma? You have no right to talk about what is right and what is wrong. You have no right to talk about Dharma and Adharma. Forget it. You keep it aside. Whatever the kingdom has been uh, taken by force by the Kauravas has to be returned. Otherwise, there will be war and Duryodhana and all his brothers will bite the dust. So, Krishna's anger was something which was unexpected and everybody was taken aback, including Sanjaya. But Sanjaya was also felt, Sanjaya also felt ashamed because whatever Krishna had said was true. In that assembly, Dushyasana was trying to disrobe Draupadi when Karana was inciting Duryodhana to drag Draupadi into that assembly. None of them had opposed. Sanjaya had not opposed. Sanjaya had kept quiet. This was wrong on his part. Sanjay accepted that, so he bowed his head and kept quiet. So finally, after a little more discussion like this, Sanjaya asked the Pandavas, please give me your message. What is the message I have to give to Dhritarashtra? Yudhishar Maharaj told him, our message is very simple. Please hand over Indraprastha, which is rightfully ours, back to us. We will forget all hostility and we will live as friends and brothers. On the other hand, if you wish to, if you do not give the kingdom back to us, then there has to be war. And even if you give five villages, one for each of five brothers, we are ready to even accept that. Because we are Kshatriyas, our duty is to rule. As long as we have got a, a place to rule and some a, a citizens to, to, to administer, then we have no issues. We are ready even for that. This is our message. And then uh, Krishna spoke to Arjuna. Krishna asked Arjuna, Arjuna, what is your response? And Arjuna responded, he said, whatever my brother Yudhishthir Maharaj has said is fully right and I stand fully with him. If the Kauravas are ready to give back Indra Prasa, we will maintain peace. Otherwise, my Gandiva will speak. We will not speak anymore. Then Krishna looked at Bhima and he said, Bhima, what do you have to say? Now, what was Bhima's response? Normally, we would expect Bhima to be the most angry of the lot and, and the, the person who are most thirsting for revenge. Surprisingly, Bhima spoke very peacefully and Bhima said, My dear uh, Sanjaya, we want peace. We don't want any fight. Please tell Dhritarashtra that somehow please convince Duryodhana to give us at least five villages. We are happy with that. We don't want any fight. We don't want any battle. We, why we should fight and kill each other unnecessarily? If we on one side and you Kauravas with Bhishma, Drona and all on the other side fight, what is the result which is going to happen? We will simply kill each other. I don't want to, I don't want to see such uh, bloodshed. Let us avoid all this. Let us maintain peace. Krishna was surprised and Krishna started laughing. Krishna said, what is it that I am hearing Bhima? Looks like you have become afraid when the time for battle has come. What happened to all those words of revenge and all those things you were speaking? Then Bhima became very grave and he said, oh my Krishna, it is not that I have become afraid. I was feeling compassionate towards the Kauravas because if there is battle, definitely they will be killed. And I thought, why they have to go through all this pain? And Dhritarashtra and Gandhari will have to suffer seeing their sons killed before them. So I was being compassionate and thought, let us avoid it. But otherwise, I am not afraid. I am waiting for battle. Let the Kaurava brothers come. I am waiting to fulfill my vow. I have vowed to kill Dushyasana and rip his heart out and drink his blood. I am waiting for the battle to happen between both of us. So Krishna smiled and yes said, and he said, this is the Bhima we know. Fine. So like this, everybody's message was given and Sanjaya started back to Hastinapura. And when he reached Hastinapura, and uh, how did, how was the message from the Pandavas received? What was the reaction in the Kaurava 
palace please join us in the next episode to know about this thank you for joining us today hare krishna jagat guru shila prabhupad ki jai nitai gor premanande hari hari bol